we are going to be solving simple linear equations involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, square, and square root. Firstly, let's consider the addition operator separating variables in a simple linear equation. Let's consider x plus 5 is equal 8. The aim here is to isolate x. Hence, x will remain on one side of the equals sign. We're going to keep x on this side. And remember, on the other side, we have 8. 5 will move across the equal sign and it will become minus 5. You can see that x is now isolated. x will now become 3. Always remember that whenever plus moves across equal sign, it changes sign to become minus. Whenever minus moves across the equal sign, it changes sign to become plus. Next, let's consider the subtraction operator separating variables in a linear equation. We have x minus 5 equals 8. Our aim here is to isolate x. That is, x will be on one side of the equals sign. Here, we are going to keep x on this side. And on the other side, we are going to have 8. Minus 5 will move across this equal sign and become plus 5. x is now isolated. We are going to have that x will become 13. You see, x is now isolated. Remember that minus moving across the equal sign becomes plus and plus moving across the equal sign becomes a minus always remember this next let's consider multiplication operator in a linear equation 3x is equal 8 our aim here is to isolate x that is we're going to keep x here making it the subject and on the other side we're going to have 8. 3 have to leave x on this side. 3 is multiplying x. On the other side is going to divide. Whenever a variable is multiplying and they cross the equal sign is going to divide. And whenever a dividing variable moves across the equal sign, it will multiply. Always remember this. Next, let's consider division operator in a linear equation. x divided by 3 is equal 8. We want to isolate x. If x will be on this side, on the other side is 8. 3 is dividing. And on the other side, it will multiply. And we are going to have that x is equal 24. Always remember that if a variable is multiplying and it moves across the equal sign, it will divide and if a variable is dividing and it moves across the equal sign it will multiply always remember this next let's consider when square is involved in a linear equation we have x squared is equal 16 
our aim is to make x the subject. However, x is having 2 at the index. What we are going to do for squared value is x will be on this side and on the other side we have 16. The 2 at this power will move across and become a square root. x will now become 4. There is always a 2 here but for square root is not always written. Remember if we have a variable with a squared, on the other side it becomes a square root. If we have a square root and it moves across the other side, it will become a squared. Next, let's consider when square root is involved in a linear equation. We have that the square root of x is equal 3. But we want to make x the subject. That is, we're going to isolate x in this equation. And on the other side, we have 3. Now, this square root here, we need to move. And on the other side, square root will become square. Hence, we're going to have that x will become 9. Remember that whenever square root moves across, it's going to square. And whenever a squared variable, it will become a square root. This rule is very important. And you should always try to remember this. If we have that the cube root of x equals 8, now, we want to isolate x, and on the other side, we have 8. Now, there is a 3 at the index. On the other side, it will become a cube root. Hence, x will become 2. Remember, this is 3. We need 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times, to give us 8. Hence, the cube root of 8 is 2. Remember, if we have the square root of 4 is 2, this is simply telling us that we need to multiply 2 twice to get 4. If we have 2x plus 5 equals 8, our aim here is to isolate s. However, I'm going to leave 2x here and on the other side, we are going to have 8. Plus 5 will move across the equal sign and become minus 5. 2x is equal 3. Next, the 2 will move across the equal sign. And on the other side, because the 2 is multiplying x, it will divide 3 on the other side of the equal sign. And x is now 3 over 2. You can see that the main aim in each of the considered linear equations is to separate a variable. And in these examples, you can see that the separated variable for each solved equation is x. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video lesson.